Hi, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? Okay, you guys see I got the road back, so you already know what time it is, baby. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the positive comments, you know. Um, I know that there's some people that, you know, are on my channel and they shouldn't be here. And for the ones who should not be here, please go ahead and unsubscribe and click off. Like I said, I don't do this for the fame and the fortune, baby. I do this because I want to help and assist. And if I'm not helping you or assisting you, if you feel like you have the thumbs down my reading or if something is not um, resonating with you or you're not my my tribe, it's just best that you continue to keep it moving, keep it pushing, honey. Um, you know, put your energy into something else that's very useful for yourself, okay? And I'm going to continue doing the same. So with that being said, you guys, this is the daily reading for December 8, 2021. But you guys know that this could be happening a couple of days in advance, a couple of days behind. Either way, hopefully you get the clarity, the understanding, the message, or the advice, you know, to help you uh, to push through or to whatever it is that you need. Confirmation, okay? So let's get into this reading, Pisces. We're going to go straight into your energy. I already have the cards pulled out. So we have the Page of Pentacles here in reverse, Pisces. And then what's coming towards you, two cards came out, which is the Three of Pentacles. And let me show you. The Three of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. So that's what's coming towards you. The advice card that I have for you, Pisces, is the Two of Nines and the Nine of Swords. I mean, Two of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So the two of wands and the nine of swords. Okay, let's get into this energy. I feel like this is very interesting. This is very interesting. So Pisces, you're coming out as the page of pentacles here, okay? You're procrastinating in regards, you're procrastinating. You're hesitant. Your energy feels very hesitant and you're not... You're feeling discouraged. There's some type of, yeah, you feel discouraged. There's some type of discouragement here in regards to building something, fixing something, working towards something, working on something. Maybe this is a work, a career, or a job, or maybe working on something here with someone or a project or fixing something here with someone, okay? But either way, you're procrastinating, you're hesitating, um, you're feeling really discouraged in regards to something here that you want. It's like you want, you really want something to work out or you really want this. I feel like this is your wish fulfillment, but you kind of feel like the situation is just broken or it's just not on, it's not on solid foundations here. So you feel very, very discouraged about this because you just kind of feel like the situation isn't solid. Okay. Or you feel like the situation isn't built on a solid foundation. What's coming towards you though is the three of pentacles with the nine of wands. So that's some, this is some real, like, looking at the card, this is some real <sighs> creepy shit. Like, it seems very weird to me because it looks like someone's trying to, I feel like someone's trying to force something on you. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone's trying to force something on you, maybe even force you to work with something here with them. I feel like this person is kind of pushing you into a corner. It has a lot to do with like working with them on something or it's so weird. But your hand is up in the air and you're like, no, or stop. Or, you know, you're 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 putting your hands up as if this is not going to work. There's a plan that someone is trying to work on here with you, or it's like a, uh, what do you call it? Some workable plan here. Someone has this workable plan or a plan here. It's like a decision. Like they're trying to like maybe negotiate or get you to work with something here with them. Um, they may be suggesting something here. Yeah, look, I feel like this person may be suggesting something here with you, uh, you know, in regards to some type of plan or you know, decision here. It's like they're trying to get you to like maybe even change your mind or change directions or it's like they're trying to get you to 
They're trying to make you to back away from making some type of decision. Damn, you guys, this could have to do with something here, like, in regards to work or a career or a job. Or for some of you guys, this have to do with, like, working with them on a situation. Either way, why do I get this energy that this person is really trying to push you in a corner? Like, they're giving you pushback here. And it's really making you hesitant here. It's making you unsure. It's making you hesitant. It's also making you feel like you're not grounded. You're not, yes. It's also making you indecisive here. But you object to something. You object to this. You object to this, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, stop it. Don't let anyone continue. Do not let someone put you in a corner or force you into working with them or doing something if you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel like it's the right thing to do. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, I'm hearing, this person is used to getting their way with a lot of people. Maybe they're used to getting their way with a lot of people or maybe um, in a situation where there is a work environment or this is a controlled environment is what it feels like for some of you guys. But this is what I'm seeing. They're used to getting their way in some type of controlled environment here. Yeah, that's what it is too for some of you guys who need to hear that. So let's get into the advice here because this person is really pushing, pushing something here, pushing, trying to push you trying to back you into a corner and push you into uh, working or agreeing to something, Pisces, that you don't feel secure about at all. You don't feel secure about this and you're hesitating and there's some type of procrastination in your energy. You're feeling discouraged here too um, because you want something, but at the same time, you just kind of feel like the situation is not solid or it's just like, is something is like on fire like very faulty foundations here. So the advice that I have here is the two of wands, Pisces. So yeah, Pisces, yeah. And then the nine of cores. Okay, Pisces. So what's really going on deep down inside though is that this person, you don't, I don't know if you see it or if you know it, but this person is really stressed out and they're having anxiety here, okay? Um, they're really like, ugh, like, Look how this man is biting on their nails. You know, like they're really nervous about something here. They're nervous about you taking, taking the bait in some way. So they're really nervous about you like not working on this, you know, not going along with this. Okay. So they're nervous about the decision that you are going to make here. Pisces, my advice to you, the overall energy here we have is the Ace of, Swar Ace of Wands here. You started something, Pisces. You sparked some type of new creative thing. There was some type of flame. You lit a flame. You lit a fucking match here. And what's going on is that a fire started around this person. It's almost like you kind of like made people see this person or see what was going on. Like you're about to like, I feel like that's what's going on. You, you're, you, you light a match. You started something. You really lighted a light a match here, okay? You started something new and creative, some type of action you took, and I feel like you put this person in a position where they had to, or they're going to have to, kind of like I don't know why I'm here and exonerate themselves, okay? Around a situation, I don't even know what that word is. Exonerate themselves. Either way, whatever. I don't know what the <laughs> spirit is just giving me these words. Or they're going to have to, like, uh, fight to show something, show that they are working with you in some way. You know what? Either way, Pisces, the advice here is you need to continue. This is a, okay, the two of one. You need to continue. This is a go. You need to go. I'm hearing go. Keep going. Keep digging. Okay? You started off with something. You, you already liked that match. You started. You made a decision. You chose the path. You need to continue with that path. Continue down that path in regards to what you're doing here, Pisces. Okay? Because, honestly, you're going to make this person nervous as hell. <laughs> and I'm... And, oh, gosh. And I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. 
but I feel like you need to continue going down this path. You made a decision. It's one of those things where you have to put your money where your mouth is. Like you made a decision. And I feel like you need to continue towards down that path. You need to continue to honestly, what you're going to end up doing, whether you know it or not, you're going to end up digging this, per digging a ditch for this person. I'm hearing like digging this person's grave. Like you're going to dig a grave for this person, but they don't, but they, and I feel like they know it. They're worried as fuck. Like they're having a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. They're worried. They're chewing on their nails. They're having a lot of anxiety because Pisces, whatever you put into motion, you're going to end up digging this person's grave. I don't know why spirit is saying that you're going to end up digging this person's grave. Like you're going to dig a hole or let me, I'm sorry for, for the, for the people in the back where it's too intense for you guys, you're going to end up digging a hole and this person is going to fall in. That's to make it simple. Like you really are. Okay. Your plan, it may be taking some time, but I'm hearing continue to stay in action. Okay. Make this decision. It is not going to be easy, whatever it is, dealing with this person in this situation, but just know that you're digging this person's grave. 